Now, there's a new crisis brewing in Sri Lanka, that of food insecurity, which is the lack of consistent access to enough food for a healthy lifestyle. Now, according to United Nations report, around 6.3 million Sri Lankans are facing acute food insecurity and the situation is likely to worsen. Since mid-2020, food prices worldwide have been consistently rising. The pandemic and subsequently the Russian invasion of Ukraine have worsened food inflation and increased the cost of importing food. And in a country like Sri Lanka, which is already facing its worst economic crisis, food insecurity is hitting even harder. As per a joint report curated by United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or FAO, or FAO, the World Food Programme, nearly 30% of Sri Lankans are experiencing acute food insecurity. The situation is expected to worsen if adequate life-saving assistance and support are not provided. Sri Lanka finds itself in this situation due to a combination of factors like poor harvests and reduced imports of food grains due to foreign exchange constraints. Now, the report further stated that there has been a nearly 50% drop in production due to two consecutive seasons of poor harvests. After months and months of crippling economic crisis, the citizens are exhausted and out of options. And under such conditions, more than 60% of families are eating less and eating cheaper, less nutritious food. As the situation worsens, various international organizations have come to the country's aid, hoping to save the most vulnerable segments with the help of various humanitarian programs. The World Food Program has already been distributing food vouchers to pregnant women in various districts of Colombo. United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has urged special focus on supporting smallholder farmers as a priority to so that further deterioration of food security conditions can be averted. Around 30 percentage of population depend on agriculture, which is why improving the production capacity of farmers will further avert the rise in hunger. And for more on that story, our correspondent Dasunia Tauda has sent us this report from Colombo. With falling harvests and a failed organic fertilizer project, along with Sri Lanka's falling forex revenues, making it unable to import even the most staple of food items into Sri Lanka, it is no surprise that nearly 30% of the island nation's population has now been pushed into food insecurity. The President Ranil Vikramal Singh-led government is now working at its utmost best to ensure that Sri Lanka does not face an acute food shortage in the coming few months here in Sri Lanka. Reporting for We On World is one from Colombo and Dasuni Atauta. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.